Good day and welcome to the Maths Alone quiz. This is the quiz for the advanced level, that is for lower six and upper six. The quiz intends to help students better prepare for their exams and also get ready for the future. The intention of these quizzes are not to test how much a student can cram, but how much they can understand about the basic concepts of mathematics. So if you come to the Maths Alone quiz, it's not here to distribute money or get money. You come here to learn, to be able to improve your mathematical skills. Read these instructions properly. If possible, pause the slide and read them so you better grasp its content. If you get a good score, you get plus one. Wrong score, minus one. Nothing, you get zero. So read them well. The questions are numbered one to ten. So I would advise you to get a sheet of paper and number one to ten so that after every question you write the correct letter. This way you will use the sheet of paper one week later when I upload the solutions to know what was the score you had. I would not share your score with anyone. It's important that you take a sheet of paper, pause the slide if need be, solve when you finish, you write the answer on that sheet of paper. Preserve this paper until I upload the solutions one week later. The intention of this is just to help you understand the key things that, need, that we need for your future. When you finish the quiz, I would provide you a link where you can submit your answers. You just click on the link, you fill in your name, your school, your class, and for each of the questions, you write the letter corresponding to what you have your answer on your answer sheet. When you finish, you just click on the submit button, and that is all. Don't click more than once. Submit once, and that's enough. Remember, the quiz is intended to be taken at home. So use any material you want, except asking someone else. You should do it alone. Get your textbook, get your pamphlets, get anything you want and use them. The most important thing is that you always try to prepare to understand all the small lines that exist, which carry the key concepts of mathematics. You can always pause a slide and then solve when you finish, you continue. At this level, you have come to the end of the quiz. That means you now have all the answers to the 10 questions. If you are not sure, you can go back and rewatch the video. If you are sure, then you can go now to the link that I've provided and then you click and then submit your answers. Enter your name, your school, your class and your answers. Thank you for participating.